You're on. We got it this far. This I'm I'm pushing this over. So now I want to take this bracket here, set it on here, and I've got to hold it here and then pre-drill it the whole bit just like before. I'm just starting the screw holes. This is why it's hard to do this by yourself. Okay, Frankie, go down on the other end. Okay, grab this. We're going to set this down on the ground carefully. I get my drill. Drill these out because I already got the starter hole. I'm going to change that to my Phillips tip. Make sure you've got the small tip so you don't want to strip out your head of your screw because this screw is smaller than that other tip that I had. I'm going to do this in and out a couple times because I'm going to end up putting this in by hand. That's just pre-starting it. Yeah. There it is. I find it's easier to do this. That way I don't have to do, screw it all the way in by hand and have it hard to do it. I want it easy. I like things easy. Ooh. Hot. Hot potato. Okay. Now, I've got to put this back up there. There's a certain notch on that end he's got to get. And he's got it, and I have to hang on to it. If I don't hang on to it, it's going to fall off. Okay, so, Frankie, you're going to have to come back and give me a bracket. Put this screw on here for me. Slip this end on. Like that. Crap. Tighten it up by hand. Look at it and see where it's got to be slid. Tighten her up. like I can tap the, the top over a little bit, so I'm going to loosen that up. Voila. So I got the, the outside of it facing out. Put the bracket in. You see how Frank's moving that over there on that side. You take that handle just like that, how he's doing it. 
Good job, Frankie. See how that hit here? Hold this. Thing. See how this handle is? It's straight, so you want to grab it here, turn this up, turn that back. Now you can crank it. Like that. Okay. And, and then when you have it left, you can leave it hang straight down, or you can take this hook off of here if you want, whatever. We're going to look at this top, and it's got to be slid over that way a little bit. All the cloth, all the cloth is up over on this side, so you can grab it and move it. I've got about a half inch over here of silver showing. I've got a little bit more than a half inch over there. About five eighths, okay. I'm going to slide it that way a little. Okay, right about like that. Or, well, this one, it's, it's half too, so it's okay. And then we can, and then it comes with the tie downs like I was showing you before. We've got the, the tie down piece. Let's show you, show on the other one over there. There's a, where, where is the tie right down? Oh, here. Okay, so you can hook that on like that. So see, that's going to be hooked on that, and this, this has a little slide on there. So you know how you put a camera handle on or cam camera strap like that. Okay, like that. And you've got this tip. So wherever you end up having this, you can have it two feet down, three feet down, whatever. Then you can screw this down here and then you can pull this down to it and kaboom. And then you've got this, you've got this nicer instead of flopping around if it's windy on a windy day or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna decide where to do this, and then I'll do that one, and then I can mount one directly on the wall over there and do the same thing. Okay, we're almost done. We're... Well, here's the finished product. You see what we did here? You don't have to do this or not, okay? But you can pull this out like that, and then that holds it. See? That'll keep that from swaying in the wind. And what what I did is once I figured out exactly the height of this, I measured from the measured from the top down and got this one. Then I went over and eyeballed that, measured from the top down. I even put one here on the wall here. See how this one kind of comes out at an angle. And then I can pull that down. See see how if you don't have that, it kind of flops around in the breeze. Okay, so now, now I can do that like that, and there you go. Okay, so next time when you roll this down, you can roll it down a little bit lower, let's say, and then you can you can attach these, and then you can take your your ratchet here like that, and then you can tighten this back up so it's tight, or if it's too tight, you can lower it down a little bit, whatever you want to do. Okay, we got one there. And one over there. I don't see how it's nice. enough for you to go out there and walk underneath it. What's going on out here? <whistles> Hello there, baby. Oh. Yeah, oh. I know, I know. Uh, here. Look at what I look like. I know, Come I on. see. You're beautiful, baby. Stop. Hey. What are you doing here, by the way? <sighs> oh, yeah, I know. You see? It looks like we're getting ready to do something. This is all organic. And by the way, it's very expensive to buy organic stuff at the store. I understand. This was like $26 for this. But we're are getting ready to do something we have never done yet before. And we're going to juice. We're gonna juice some stuff coming up. And we've got all kinds of stuff here. Kale, let's see, organic carrots, carrots, organic. All this stuff was Wheat organic. Grass. Wheatgrass. Okay, that's this cool. This is the stuff you give your kitties. <laughs> I mean, you have indoor cats. You can put them down on the ground so that they can chew it. Oh, they chew that? They do. Swiss chard. Swiss chard. We got some beets down there, some celery, some even some green apples. What was that? Green apples. What's and that this in there? 
is watercress. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen watercress? Uh, there it oh, is, there watercress. it is. Oh, I used to have that in deviled egg sandwiches. It's and there's nice some cu stuff. cucumbers down there. And what kind of juicer are we going to use? A Breville. It's called a Breville, and my aunt's going to let us use it. And she had it, she bought it probably six years ago. And Never it's in this container, and I believe it's a cold pressed juicer. And that's the type you want to use, right? Masticating, yes. Why a cold pressed juicer? What's the big deal here? Well, then it doesn't break down, the heat doesn't break down the nutrients in your in the vegetables. In the vegetables. Because you've got, there's two different types of juicers. One goes really super high and then that heats up the juice and takes out nutrients and goodness out of your, your vegetables, correct? Yes. Okay, so you want to stick around. I'm not going to show it on this video, but we're just getting and this stuff prepared. I'll have a bath <laughs> and do something with my face. Okay, and my okay. but you're, you're going to prepare all this. And most of this stuff we're going to juice, aren't we? Uh, other than, I think I was reading somewhere where it said on the apples that you even want to core those to take the seeds out so that um, it doesn't put any impurities in with the juice. And that was something kind of different because I've seen people just juice the entire apple. You know, I think we're going to cut the seeds we're out of that. We're going to clean everything. We're going to clean it and we're going to prep it. So stay tuned. Okay. All right. On the back side, just two screws. Are okay. That's all I have for this time. But I'll be back yeah, with more videos. You put a thing off the flag thing.